just to be very clear on the application of fundamental theorem of calculus in the context of the problems we've been looking at. First of all, if we have some function h of t, then the derivative with respect to t of h of t can be written h prime of t, where it's understood that the prime indicates the derivative with respect to the independent variable t. In this case, the fundamental theorem tells us that the integral of h prime of t dt is just h of t plus a constant. So when we integrate the derivative of a function with respect to its independent variable, we get the function plus a constant. And this is something, of course, we're all quite familiar with at this point. So if we have the equation y prime of t equals f of t, we can solve this equation by integrating both sides with respect to t. And what we obtain on the left side is nothing but our y function plus a constant. On the right hand side we're going to get a function capital F of t where we understand that capital F of t is any antiderivative of little f of t. And it follows that y of t equals f of t plus c. Now that might look wrong to you, although if you've had a calculus course you probably understand what's going on, but let's be clear. c can be any constant and this c here can be any constant and this c here can be any constant. And that would include the negative of our previous c. Unless we've specified what this constant is, there's no reason we can't just say that, well, whatever this constant is, it could be any constant, so it could well be the negative of whatever the constant was in this case. 